And staying in Abuja, Governor of Delta State, Sharif Barawari, has met with President Tinubu over the killing of 17 members of the armed forces in Okwama community. The governor promised to continue engagement with security agencies and community leaders to ensure this incident never happens again. State House correspondent Femi Akondi reports. The Delta State Governor arriving to brief State House correspondents after a private meeting with President Bola Tinubu in the presidential villa. The oil rich state has been in the news over the brutal killing of 17 soldiers. Now all hell has been let loose as the villagers are on the run while the army lay siege for the perpetrators. He briefed the president on the details of what transpired after his previous visit to the affected communities that has now been deserted. I decided to come here to brief Mr. President of all the things we have been doing to maintain peace. Uh, Mr. President has assured me that um, uh, the peace, as in in support of the peace, and we both condemn the killing of the officers and the the, the soldiers, because they are there on peace mission. The community people, uh, the, the place has been deserted. So the issue was whether, whether you were able to see the community leaders. No. We no, have not been able to. So we only got in full briefing from the army, and we are on it. Because this week, the National Council are going to meet and discuss. I'm going to invite stakeholders. We are on top of it. The governor did not give details on his findings and refused to speak to reports of civilian casualties from an alleged reprisal carried out by the army. He says the state government is cooperating with the army authorities as the manhunt for the killers continue. We had a meeting yesterday with the security heads where the, the, the commanding officer, general commanding officer of of 60 was there, the, the, the JTF commander was there, was in attendance. We've all agreed, all the security agencies are putting us together, we're on the same page, to fish out the real culprit. These brutal killings sparked widespread outrage in the country. President Bola Tinubu has also granted the defense headquarters and the chief of defense staff full authority to bring to justice anyone found to have been responsible for this crime against the Nigerian people. Femi Akonde, TVC News, Abuja.